What's up everyone, it's Derek Roddy from Serpent's Rise. I gotta tell you about this thing, look at that. Uh huh, <laughs> oh yeah, we gotta talk about this. <laughs> oh yeah, this is probably one of the nicest set of drums I've ever seen, definitely. What Drum Workshop offers that's different than Brand X set of drums is individuality. With the Collector Series, um, you know, these guys can design anything I can hear in my head. And with the configurations of the X shells, the VOTs, VLX, um, and traditional, you know, shells, the, uh, the sonic range that you can get is absolutely incredible. And um, I just think for a modern day drum company to be offering what Drum Workshop offers in the Collector Series, it's hands down the most individual sounding drum I think on the market today, period. The one thing about DW drums that allows me as a metal player um, to have the sound that I'm looking for is just the tunability like I said before with the X shells and the VOTs, VLX, the range to get these drums down low is incredible. I haven't found a drum kit that tunes any lower than these. And for me personally, I like to tune low. Most of my stuff from the lugs are barely finger tight on my kit. And um, that being said, with them being that, that loose, still gets a nice fundamental pitch out of the drum, which is hard to find because a lot of drums will not do that. And um, for a metal player, that's heaven. I think that more metal guys really should should look into these drums especially you know if that's your gig if you like that heavy you know bottom end like you're carrying a big stone on your back um, go for it check them out take a listen to them Me personally, um, I'm known as being more of the extreme metal drummer kind of thing, but I've always had more of a fusion type of drum sound. I was one of the first guys in my genre playing 20 inch kick drums, 8 and 12 up top. Um, but the fact that I, I, I really think that I can get the dynamic range that I'm looking for out of drums that have more of a modern day fusion type of sound. What's cool about some of the X shells and the, the VLX and VOT shells is I can tune them really, really low and get that thuddy type of sound, but it still has the character that I like about it, real crisp, real clean, sustained, um, you know, sings for days and articulate. You know, that's, that's what I really go for. Yeah, it was everything that I was hoping and expecting and definitely allows me to be me. It allows me to pull the sounds I want to out of the drums. And um, I think that's a beautiful thing. As far as what brought me to this look, I've always been into the exotic veneers. I like drums that look like furniture, um, but I also like color. And um, you know, being able to mix the two, have an exotic veneer such as the, the ebony ivory here, and be able to put a fade or a burst on it or a color over it is um, it's just an insane look. And I, I'm totally all about that and always have been. You know, so that's kind of you know what I like personally in, in a drum finish. 
And hands down, DW's had the best finishes, you know, across the board, I personally believe. Just, they're always deep. It looks like you can just reach right into that thing, like it is an aquarium, like we were saying earlier. It looks like you can reach in it and pull a fish out of it, <laughs> or a snake. I have a lot of stuff in, in this bigger kit and um, you know within what 15 20 minutes we were able to have a configuration that I was happy with just pulling stuff out of the boxes I like minimal stuff even though I have a big kit there's only four tripods on the ground for this whole kit right now and um, once I get it home I'll probably even tailor it down to three tripods and still have all of this stuff everywhere so that's one cool thing about you know, the dog bong system, being able to add on to existing boom stands to stack symbols and, and whatever. Um, but I remember seeing Terry, before he went to the rack, he had like the whole section of symbols up here and over here on one stand on each side. And I was just so blown away by that. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. But uh, it, it's so stable and sturdy and it works and totally happy with it. First experience of the factory, I was blown away. Um, I've been in other factories, you know, seen some stuff being from the retail side of the whole you know, musical instrument game. And uh, I always love it when I can walk into a factory and eat off the floor. <laughs> Does that make any sense? It's just spotless and it really goes down to the actual appearance of the drums themselves. I mean, the factory looks like this drum. Um, it's just a totally class A operation. What I get from being here and watching all of you guys interact with each other, um, you know, as team players is one goal. It seems more united over here as far as a particular purpose and what DW wants to be in the industry. Um, I like that a lot. Uh, that shows me um, a particular amount of character uh, that goes into not only just building the drums, but building the the brand. I think it's a great thing that you guys are doing over here and just watching it from afar from an outsider and being in the retail experience, as long as I have dealing with this stuff and seeing the improvements and how much Drum Workshop really wants to move forward and be the you know leader um, in the industry is, uh, that's a cool thing to see and watch. And over the years, just to watch it happen right before your eyes is, is very cool. I'm blown away to be part of the family part of the roster at Drum Workshop is I, I'm honestly, am I awake? Am I okay? <laughs> so yeah, it's a dream come true. Um, it's, it's something that I, I never really thought that I would put myself out there f for this type of thing and just to be accepted into the family and to have you guys um, really go all out like this is, is amazing. Yeah.